In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up your device on iOS 9. Now you can use the search option in the settings app. You can use it to quickly search for the settings rather than navigating through different screens to get to the setting you want to change. Your battery has its own settings panel in the settings app in iOS 9. This allows you to enable or disable low power mode and where you can check your battery usage. Battery usage has a new hidden feature. When you tap on the detail view icon, it displays the amount of on-screen time and background time for each app or process. It can be quite helpful in figuring out which apps are draining your battery life. iOS 9 includes a new iCloud Drive app. This gives you access to the file stored in your iCloud Drive. It is hidden by default, but you can enable it via the settings application. When you are setting a new passcode, iOS 9 will prompt you to enter a six-digit passcode in iOS 9 instead of four. This makes your passcode a lot tougher to crack. You also have the option to continue using a four-digit numeric code. You can find this function when you tap on the password options. There's a new toggle in the settings app that allows you to group your notifications by app. Just tap settings, notifications, group by app. You now have a new 30-second option to auto-lock your iPhone or iPad. Just tap on Settings, General, and Auto-Lock. Now you can disable all vibrations on your iPhone or iPad in Settings under Accessibility. But it will also disable vibrations for earthquake, tsunami, and other emergency alerts. iOS 9 got an all-new Settings panel to customize the touch sensitivity of your iPhone or iPad's touchscreen, called Touch Accommodations. You can access it by launching the Settings app and navigating to General, Accessibility, Touch Accommodations. You can now double press Touch ID to access Wallet right from the lock screen on your iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. If you're wondering about security, then you can disable access to the wallet app on the lock screen by going to the Settings app, Touch ID and Passcode, Wallet. Now you can disable the Shake to Undo feature if you tend to trigger it accidentally by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, Shake to Undo. You can customize the top level menu in Assistive Touch. Assistive Touch comes in handy if you have trouble performing some of the gestures on your device. In iOS 9, you can change an icon to customize it based on your preferences. You can also add two more icons to assistive touch menu. There's a new setting called Control with Ring Switch that gives you the option to turn off Siri's voice when your device is muted. You can disable it by going to General, Siri, Audio Feedback. You will be able to hear Siri audio feedback via Bluetooth device, headphones, or CarPlay. When you set the wallpaper in iOS 9, you have the option to set the wallpaper as still or perspective instead of iOS 8's perspective zoom on or off. You can now use Siri Voices for the voiceover feature by tapping General, Accessibility, VoiceOver, Speech, Default Dialect. Apple has made it easier to figure out if you're going to type in caps or lowcase. In iOS 9, lowercase characters are displayed on the keys when shift key is turned off, and capital letters are displayed when it's on. If you don't like it, then you can disable it by going to Settings, General, Accessibility, Keyboard. When you tap on the keys on the iOS keyboard, it displays a preview of the character. Now you can disable the character preview in iOS 9 by going to Settings, General, Keyboard, Show Character Preview. Passwords in Safari are now protected by Touch ID. When you go to Settings, Safari, Passwords, it now gives you a prompt asking to use your Touch ID to view passwords. 